Hey everyone, this is just a quick video today, and I've seen this question come up a lot, especially with Plex and people who use uh, QuickSync that's built into the Intel core processors, anything from, I think, the second gen all the way up to ninth, tenth gen, they have Intel QuickSync. And it's meant to be a hardware accelerated decoding and encoding for your videos, instead of using like an NVIDIA card. And people want to know how many transcodes can you really get out of an NVIDIA QuickSync. Now, my server is running on an i7-7700K. Uh, unlocked, but still at factory speeds. And actually undervolted a little bit. So, right now, uh, let me get this screen back up right here. This is net data. This lets me know how bad the... CPU is and everything else on the server. Now, I currently have, I should have 10 instances of my one video running, three, six, nine, ten. 10. Right now, I got 10 copies of this running and it's transcoding from 1080p down to two megabits per second, 720p. So, if I go on over here, back over here, you can see we're not really maxing it out that much. And most of the, this one's currently transcoding a little bit more. Most of them are throttled. This one, actually, I think that's, that one's throttled now too. This one's catching up a little bit. Now if I scroll down, someone else is direct streaming something else. So that's not going to mess with us at all. Uh, this one's transcoding, but they bounce back and forth between throttled and not. Uh, I also have 32 gigs of RAM in here. And you can see we, we're still only at 24.8% usage on 32 gigs of RAM with everything else running in the background too. So you can see initially we did have a bit of a peak here on 10 transcodes and we were hitting maybe 60% but now we're back down to like 40, 40 maybe 50. You can probably get 20 transcodes. So let me go ahead and play with this a little bit more but here's something that's just funny to listen to. Um, There's like 10 copies of me just ramming on about my Super Micro 846 build right now because that's the video I had to use so I don't get demonetized on this. So let me see if I can get 10 more of these open right now. Okay, it took about 20 seconds to open up the 12th one right now and everything's starting to get a little sluggish on the server side, sending information to me, but... The thing is, it's not being overly ran. It's just things are getting sluggish for some reason. So I'm at 12 transcodes right now. Let me double check. So I'm at 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus one direct play from someone else right now. So it's starting to get a little sluggish. But the thing is, we're not even having that much bandwidth going through the LAN right now. You can see we're only hitting 20 megabits per second. So we're nowhere near taxing a gigabit connection between this computer and the server on the other side of the room here. And even this computer, she's only running about 50% on CPU right now and barely any RAM usage. Uh, the load on the server is only at a two. 1.99 right now. It did get up to, let's see here, four, four and a half or so. Yeah, maybe about four and a quarter or so. But she's starting to lag out a little bit. And you can see everything is now still running, but it's all transcoded and buffered. So it'll pick up a little bit here and there as it needs to do. Like this one's transcoding, this one's transcoding. Actually, all the those, those are transcoding. This one's okay. This one's transcoding a little bit. Maybe we're finally hitting the limit here. But I think they're all still running fine. Let's turn the audio back on and go back and forth. That's still playing fine. That's still playing fine. That's still playing fine. And they're not jumping at all. And they're all playing in real time. There's that one. It took a second for it to load up real quick. Yep, there's that one. Still running perfectly fine. And I got my intro. Because they're looping around, playing in like six different videos right now. That's funny. Let's go back over here to net data again. Come on, baby. Wake up. There you go. Yeah, net data is really getting sluggish. 
but it's still running okay. So, it, you can get at least 12 transcodes, but we're really starting to tax something. I don't know if we're taxing this computer or what. Let me see here. This is going to be this computer once it pops it up. Okay, shut up. <laughs> we're running about 50% on here. One CPU keeps going to 100% or one core. So maybe this computer right here that I'm running off of is starting to get a little taxed with 12 windows up and running currently. <laughs> but we got at least... Okay, this one's going to restart here in a couple seconds, this one. Because I have them all in loop. And we can see here, we're starting to get a spike as everything restarts. It has to retranscode again real quick. But I'm getting 12 good transcodes out of here still, even with it. That's a pre-roll. That ain't no big deal. <laughs> Let's go back over to Tui. Yeah, we can see there, there's the pre-roll right there running on that screen. And everything else got bumped down. <laughs> so It's running okay. It's a little sluggish, but it's not that big of a deal. So, in actuality, you can probably get at least 12 transcodes if you really push it. Um, depending upon how high the quality is of the file that you're transcoding from like this is a 1080p it's probably a 10 megabit per second file i really don't know off the top of my head what the original was that i uploaded to, to youtube so you can easily get probably anywhere between 8 to 15 transcodes on intel quicksync going from 1080p to 720p uh i don't have any 4k files and i don't care to play with 4k files and at this day and age, you really shouldn't be transcoding 4K files to begin with. So, that is not in the scope of this video. I just thought this was pretty cool to do and to answer this question once and for all, give people at least some sort of amount. Granted, if you have a P2000, uh, an NVIDIA P2000, I know they can transcode over like 20 or 25 transcodes from 1080p to 720 quite easily. But... Unless you have that many people running on your server at any given time, it's probably easier just to stick with the Intel QuickSync and get the newest generation you can because if you go for like a 5th or 4th gen Intel CPU with QuickSync, it won't have all the ability and they also update the hardware encoder and decoder with each step and you get a better quality picture with the encoding and decoding. So I'm on the 7th gen. There was, I think there was one more revision between 8th, 9th, and now the 10th. I don't think they've changed it that much between those. So anything from 7th gen on, get an Intel Quick Sync, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be an i7. It could be an i5, an i3, and I think even Pentium. The Quick Sync ASIC that's inside the CPU is all the same from my knowledge. If I'm wrong, please, by all means, leave information in the comments below. But as far as I know, they're all the same. And now that everything's restarted for a while, we're doing a lot of transcoding. We still have 12 running, and we're getting kind of close here. Um, we're at 85% CPU. So, yeah, probably 10 to 12 is your real-world max that you probably should go. You might start stuttering after that and having buffering issues. But otherwise, there you go. There's your answer. Thumbs up, please. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video.